for me, it's about versatility. I need to be able to rig to go from an inshore to an offshore setup from one day to the next. And times have changed, you know, we're no longer drilling into plastic these days. And as simple as it may sound, kayak tracks have given us all that versatility that we need for all water situations. When it comes to rigging a kayak, you know, I rig for multiple personalities. And, and what that means to me is, you know, there, there's a certain attitude for offshore and there's a certain attitude for inshore. And so it's, it's very different. The first thing that I wanted to do with this kayak was completely rig it out with tracks. So I went ahead and used the expanded track from Railblazer and everything is covered in it. So that I can have that option to rig heavy or go very light. So let's go from bow to stern. I'll show you guys what we have cooking. Right on the left and right hand flanks of the PDL drive, there's a couple of plates there, uh, which for me, uh, you know, I, I do quite a bit of recording. And that's the area where I'm gonna mount my front boom sticks to record all my frontal footage that's looking towards me. It's in good range, you know, that this kayak is very stable. So it's very easy to get up, reach ahead and pivot any angles or any adjustments that I might need to make on those boom sticks. And then after that, you know, the, the bread and butter really is what's at arm's reach, whether it's inshore or offshore, or even if it's shallow water. If I'm not scanning ground in just a few feet of water for any type of reefs, then I'll just use it for chart plotting. Uh, I put in a lot of miles, so sometimes I can get lost out there. So what I've done with my fish finder setup, I have the Railblazer fish finder mounting kit, which pretty much has holes for just about every bracket for any type of fish finder on the market. And then of course it's gonna be capped off with my Burley Pro shield cover, which helps eliminate that glare, especially on those bright sunny days. You know, I really don't use too many rod holders up front. I, I just like to have one that's always ready for, for me at a reach. And then of course, uh, you know, I do go live, I do stream quite a bit, whether it's on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. So uh, I, I do need something for some sort of a cell phone device, something that's very easy for me to stream out across my social media platform. So uh, I do have that ability as well. Now leading towards the, the back side of the kayak, you know, it's very simple if I want it to be that way. I can put up to two star ports, which would give me ideally about three rods on each side of the kayak but not many are gonna go out with six rods, or at least not me. Uh, so I, right now, you know, it's rigged very simple. So let's talk about offshore kayak fishing. Offshore kayak fishing is a completely different animal. That is sort of where my, my heart is at. Uh, this is where my setup changes quite a bit and this is why I went with the tracks. Uh, offshore you know we we troll quite a bit and we vertical jig as well and even side cast depending on the species and, and the territory where we're at but predominantly we're trolling whether it's lures, live bait or dead bait and so the way that I, I really like to troll is uh, sort of learned this from the New Zealand guys is I will pivot all of my my rods out. It is very common to double hook up on king mackerel especially when they're thick and uh, you know that can get pretty pretty hectic if you're not prepared for it or if you haven't dealt with that situation. Now that being said, some guys would prefer to troll behind. And the way that I have it rigged up, you can still approach that the same way with the tracks on the rear side of the kayak. So functionality for me is important. Different personalities, different people, my friends, my family, anybody who gets on this kayak is gonna have that ability to rig the way that they want not the way I want. As most of you guys all know, we all rig differently, and that is my approach on the Predator PDL. Guys, my name is Chris Castro with the ACK Fishing Team. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and I look forward to showing you guys how this kayak performs throughout the year in action. Peace.